morning and I was feeling very sad about the loss of a relationship and I wanted to feel appreciation. And with that last um, interaction that you had, um, it was the opportunity for me to see that it was to connect with the feeling of what I wanted rather than the person that was over there. All of that's true. All of that's true, but there's more. And that is, when you define a loss of a relationship, we have to say to you that there's the gaining of a relationship too. In other words, you can't lose anything without gaining its opposite, e equivalent. In other words, when you feel like you've lost something, you've really gained something. But, it, but the reason it feels like loss to you is because you're not in the vibrational vicinity of what you've gained. Isn't that interesting? You have to be in... So, so there comes a time, and you're approaching it already, where you revel in your willingness to experience that loss because in that loss there is the creation of a gain that when you rendezvous with it will be better than anything that you thought you had before you lost what you thought you lost. I just, I just got that and, and what I experienced too was that it was the feeling that I have because I felt um, like as I was opening up to the feeling of love, I really wanted to feel... Because you can't open up to the feeling of love and the feeling of loss at the same time, can you? <laughs> you made a different choice and then found what you thought you'd lost times about a million. Yeah, and that felt a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I really got, like, what I wanted was to really love someone. Like that feeling of What you loving. really want is vibrational alignment with who you really are, which is love. And the someones are really just excuses you use for alignment. They're also the someones you use as excuses for not alignment. <laughs> when they're there and behaving, you use them for the excuse for alignment. When they're gone and therefore misbehaving, you use them as your excuse for mi misalignment. But now you're so much wiser. <laughs> so then if I stay in that state where I'm in I'm love or I'm appreciation then mm. don't ask something so harsh <laughs> as to stay in that state just say I know that it exists and I can make my way to it usually takes a maximum of 10 minutes okay seriously well it doesn't I've... take more than about 10 minutes to talk yourself back into love once okay. you get the hang of it so in those times where I'm having the step one moment and I'm reveling, nap. reveling in the contrast. <laughs> um, reveling, that's an interesting word. And the reason you rampaging in the contrast is because you, because you get specific and it gets some pretty strong momentum going. But no worries. The stronger the momentum of what you don't want, the stronger the momentum of what you do want. It's just, it's just a matter of decide figuring out how to get in the direction of what you do want okay you do it by going general okay so come back around to your question before we interrupt it so when I'm when I'm having that strong experience of really knowing what I don't want what do I do and what do you do uh, well I I have been feeling it we don't we don't mean what have you been doing we mean what do you plan to do now that you've heard the wisdom of this day oh. <laughs> What do you do? What do you do when you feel strong negative emotion? What do you do? What, what, I reach, is, I, what is the resolution to that? I reach for something that feels better to try to feel some relief. And, and, and what is the overall uh, explanation of that action? What is it? I'm going general. Um, I'm, I'm softening the specifics deliberately. I'm deliberately choosing a more general way to look at this. Now, in the past we have said to you sometimes, distract yourself. Distract yourself from it. But distraction is only a temporary solution. Going general can be a permanent solution because as you go general often enough on enough things, you will find resonance with this feeling of well-being that will cause you to then walk around with this this basic basis grid 
And then the question that you asked earlier, how can I always be in a state of love, will be something that you're experiencing more of the time. More often in a state of love. Because this experience caused me to go general, and this experience caused me to go general. This experience that I could not control caused me to go general because I couldn't control it. And if I wanted to feel good, I had to go general because I couldn't control it. This experience caused me to go general because I couldn't control it. I had no choice if I was to feel better than to go general. This one and this one and this one and this one, this person, this person, this thought, this memory, this desire, this experience. I went general and general and general and general all day, every day for a week or two or three. I went general until I established a vibrational emotional grid that then began to carry me and I began announcing, I'm feeling better more of the time. The world is looking beautiful to me again. I'm happy. I'm having more fun. And then, and, and then once you begin acknowledging that emotional grid is more steady within you, then the things that begin to fill it in. We don't want you ever to be wary of anything that's contrasting in your experience. We don't want you to ever say, I always want to only be in the vortex or I always want to only feel love. We want you to say, I know what to do. I'm the molder of the clay. I've come to experience the contrast and it's benefiting me dramatically. And I know the direction that I'm going. I know what to do. I have guidance within me. It's always on target. I know exactly what to do. If it feels good, I'm more specific. If it doesn't feel so good, I go general and it works every single time. And as you begin saying that and meaning that and knowing that, then you don't say, I always want to be in a state of love. You say, I really like some of the hateful things that happen to me that make me experience the value of love. And with these things that I don't like, I parlay what I do want into more heights, what I do like into more heights. And because I'm so clear of who I am and how I'm supposed to feel, I'm able to find conscious, deliberate resonance with that frequently so that my life just keeps getting better and better. That's what you all said. That's why you all came. You didn't say, we'll go forth, feather our nest, we'll just go forth into a happy little environment and just observe it. You passionately came forth wanting variety to stimulate you to things that you don't have because you knew that you could not stand in a state of not having for very long. You knew that there was nothing that this time-space reality could inspire as a desire within you that you couldn't achieve. And once you consciously get that and start moving toward it, that feeling of invincibility and that feeling of worthiness will become so powerfully, that's, what, that's really what you're looking for. What you really want is that conscious awareness that no matter what, you can figure it out. And you know what? No matter what, you can figure it out. Good time for a segment of the <laughs>